Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of General Educator. Today we will be talking about one of the most fascinating topics in biology, genetic polymorphism. So sit back, relax and get ready to learn about how variation in our genes makes each of us unique. The section first is, what is genetic polymorphism? Let's start with the basics. Genetic polymorphism refers to the occurrence of different versions of a single gene within a population. This means that in a group of people, there can be multiple variations of a gene, each with a different sequence of DNA. Now let's move to section 2, types of genetic polymorphism. There are two main types of genetic polymorphism. The first one is single nucleotide polymorphism that's also known as SNPS in short form. This type of polymorphism occurs when there is a change in just one nucleotide or building block of DNA within a gene. These changes are usually small but they can have significant effects on the function of a gene. Number second is structural polymorphism. This type of polymorphism refers to a larger change in the DNA sequence such as insertions, deletions or rearrangements of genetic material. These changes can result in differences in the structure and function of a gene. The section 3 deals with how does genetic polymorphism impact our health. So now here, here is where things get interesting. The variation in our genes that we can we see a genetic polymorphism can impact our health in a variety of ways. Some genetic variations may increase the risk of developing a certain diseases, while others may offer protection against specific health problems. For example, some genetic variations have been linked to an increased risk of developing heart disease, while others have been associated with a lower risk of developing cancer. The section 4 deals with conclusion, so let's end this here. In conclusion, genetic polymorphism is a fascinating aspect of biology that helps us understand why each of us is unique. By studying genetic variations, we can learn more about genetic factors that influence our health and well-being. So now you have a little bit of idea about genetic polymorphism. Why not share your newfound knowledge with your friends and family? That's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed learning about genetic polymorphism and found this video informative. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.